Well, let's see what awful shit's gonna be here now. Boop. Am I going down or up? Great. I was hoping that that was not going to be the answer. What am I looking at here? I said, what am I looking at here? Not who am I looking at here, and what kind of wibbly wobbly am I looking at here? He's back. You're back. Why are you back? Putting fucking trip mines and everything again. God, God damn it. I'm gonna be blowing myself up all over the place now. Is he gonna be talking to me over the intercom again? That means I can't trust the boxes. Again. Salt mine. What is this? Investigate the mine hideout. Okay. Can do. I guess. So you have 10 billion fucking trip mines and everything? Is it- wait, is this Lucas's hideout? Is he- Does- is this where he spends his- <gasps> Fuck. It's, I- I heard something and then he came... Wibbling- oh my fucking god. Fine, fine, fine. I need to get rid of this ammo anyway. That did nothing. I forgot that you guys do, do not give a shit about these things. You slapped me with the wrong arm. You have failed. You're voted off the island. Go home. Out my face. Okay. Boom. That's still good. Reload this. Reload everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is this all about here? This is just looking like an intestine now. Lucas, I don't know how you built all this. I really, honestly, honest to God, don't understand how you built all this. There's a light. Maybe you light up the night like nobody. Oh, I thought that was a missile. <laughs> it just, I, I just, I watched that. I. Like, I blatantly just saw that- OH MY GOD! You dead? Nope. Nope. Can you fucking, like... Can- can you not? Can you just not? Jesus Christ. Ethan's already taken a beating. I watched that stupid thing just spawn in. Like, they put no effort into any kind of animate. What is this? One. Count em, One. Magnum ammo. If I have one more coin, I can actually get that magnum ammo. Or I can get the magnum. But now the question is. What the fuck is that? But now the other question is. Where would the coin be? Fuck off! Oh god damn it! Boop! 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 
There goes your arm. Never mind. You just tried to slap me with the wrong arm. I'm so proud of you. Fuck off, fuck off. You've taken how many headshots now? No, really, how many headshots now? No, really, how many headshots now? Oh my god. Jesus Christ with these things. It got health for days. What is going on here? Huh? Is this how I, like, improv break through things? I guess so. Anything back here? Interesting. I can't even walk back there. Thanks, game. Hello? Did I just see something move over there? Nope, but I see this. Lucas! Where are you putting this shit down? Lucas, I know you're still out there. Is that a bomb? No, it's a bobblehead. Ooh. What is going on with like the animation of that fence up there? What the fuck? So nice to see that Jack's bobble little football player bobbleheads somehow managed to get onto like a, a boat and into a salt mine. Well, it's bound to happen eventually. Luckily, I wasn't near it. Lucas. Lucas! What the fuck? There's another save room right there, so that means something has to be in front of it to try and stop me. What is this? Oh boy, a five-pager. 2015! Hey, two years ago. <laughs> At fucking like 1 a.m. in the morning. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. That's fucked up. You're probably going to be dead now. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. Sent that 2 a.m. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. Although, no, I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all. But she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. 1 a.m. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. I heard someone knock some shit around. Stop that. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Debatable. She looked... Well, I guess she didn't look fine when I had that awkward close-up of her, but definitely wasn't old. Thanks for that. Is this going to be a fight with Lucas here? Because, like, it's looking like his area again.
What is this? What is this here? Can I read it? Ah, here we are. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium, asterisk, that grows inside of the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized assets. Hereafter referred to as mold. Unquote. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. Excellent. As a side effect to this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative, regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co-opt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. That's nice. Mid-stage infection, once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has taken over, has been taken over by mold, quote unquote, the subject begins to lose their human form. Okay. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Is there a back? No. Do I want to know what that is? What have we here? Five minutes after dose, vomiting. E neurotoxic dosage test. Is, she, is he fucking like putting that into her eye? What the hell? Ten minutes after dose, death. Okay. Twelve minutes after dose, cell calcification. Neato. It does not seem like that's going very well for you then. This thing is hooked up to all kinds of pipes. What am I about to open? Uh oh. What is this? E necrotoxin. Who's throwing shit? That's what I thought. Oh, this is the thing. This is the thing that was, uh fucking on the ship that I couldn't read because it was written in autism. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E-series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of E-series assets. Absolutely. The toxin must first be stimulated, so I have to rub its dick. Do this by placing a sample of an E-series cells into the necrotoxin container. I just so happen to have that. I don't know what that did or why there's another fetus in there, but... Alright, so what is this? A special serum for disposing of E-series test subjects. It could destroy Evelyn if injected into her. I can guarantee it's not going to be that easy. Un oh, don't tell me- don't fucking tell me that this is gonna be a Wesker fight. I will lose my mind if this is a goddamn Wesker fight. Oh god, a seven pager! Holy shit! My degree is not in English. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's next bus, next, ge next generation experimental battlefield superiority. That's a mouthful. Initiative, working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. Next bus was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly... I'm not sure I've ever heard that word. 
markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, no matter we had the meh and even meh meh organization chomping at the bit to get on board. What the fuck is that? The the project would never have existed if it were not for the if it were were it not for the discovery in meh of meh. The remarkably progressed vicariant evolution fungus we commonly term mutamycete. Okay, there's a lot of big words here. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutasimite genome to a pre stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D the perfected, to the perfected E series. Okay, that at least gives me a little insight to what a D series fucking fetus thing is. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban slash refugee populations. God damn it. The refugees are bringing in goddamn these things with them. The first E-series specimen, named Evelyn, was proven capable of secreting the mutamessi from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycete composes, imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced to a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in pseudomonas Suit, yeah, su I actually pronounced that right. Pseudomonas bacteria. God, this is why I hate scientific reports. I hate reading these. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Ooh, okay. Auditions for the Swan Lake with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. Okay. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycy infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body... <laughs> the body... <laughs> oh my god, there's another one! How long is this one? Okay, it's not that bad. Eveline's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. provocation. Their fungal toughness is, and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms molded. They are clearly not that super if an average Joe can kill them with a couple of pistol shots, but, you know, whatever sinks your sub. Made of mold, and also molded in, as in, shaped. Okay. The name has a certain elegance to it. Not really. I prefer Wibbly Wobblies, Squibbly Wooblies, Squiddy Billies, and even 
Lightning McQueen. For this treatment, for the treatment of accidental infection, performing bleh, on samples of Evelyn's body tissues produces a unique fungicidal serum. Okay. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the, seri the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to meh would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call e-neurotoxin, which meh in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Bear with me. Is she... I have a feeling that I haven't actually seen her. I have a feeling that she's locked up in here somewhere. I can almost guarantee that I'm right and she has never actually left this building. Oh my fucking god, don't do this. What is this? Oh god, there's a no around to oh, da What's on the other side of this door now? God damn it, man. So I need to get rid of some shit here. I need that, obviously. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. I don't have any chem fluid. Now I have four shots. I think this toy axe is the key to everything. You can't convince me otherwise until it's been proved scientifically. Okay. Let's fill that up. Do I have enhanced handgun ammo here anywhere? Fuck it, give me those. Why the hell not, you know? Oh god. There's splooge. There's... a big open area. Along with splooge. There's no sign of anyone else. Still. Can you get that shit off my screen? Thank you. There's gotta be something like... Like something freaking huge. Why do what? That's not good. That, that means that that light is probably gonna go out. If it's turning on my flashlight, even though it's a bright, lit-up fucking room... Oh, hello. I... I can't even see the fucking wall over there. I can't even see the fucking wall. Mm 
I'm weighing my options here. I could shoot myself and not go in this water and be embraced by the fact that I died without having to swim through this, or I could swim through this and then die and be embraced by the fact that I did swim through that and died. So. God fucking damn it. Mmm. <sighs> Do it! It's a big area! What is this now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's usually not good. Oh shit. Bitch. Oh my god, he's got the move. Bitch. Bitch. Can you fuck off? Oh, don't do that. That's cheap. I know what I was doing was cheap, but that that's also cheap. I'm supposed to be the only one that can be cheap here. Ah, shit. Where'd you go? You fucking wiggler. Oh, okay. You did that somehow. That doesn't really make sense. Bitch. <laughs> can you not though? Can you can you fucking not? Can you not spawn in those? Fuck you! Oh, did that actually kill them? It's a goddamn miracle. As I live and breathe. They had this exact same thing at their house. This goes in a, a little loop. A little loop. Oh my fucking god, I don't even have the burner. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm sorry that I looked up! What the fuck is that? What are you doing right now? Okay, that's pretty neat. Bitch. Oh yeah, I have remote bombs. Shit. I want to see more of these, like, soldier guys. I want to know what else is going on here other than me tracking down this little shit. That's what I'm actually interested in. God fucking damn it. I'm not interested in that. Are you dead? You are. And so am I. 
What the fuck? I tried to use that and it, like, combined it with something else. What in the world? It's up a bit further. Two shotgun shells. Two more shotgun shells. We are in bitterness. Fucking roasted. Oh my god. You happy? Oh god damn it, man. Hold up, hold up. I, I can't change it that fast. <laughs> Did just let me get, let me get. All right. Oh my god, stop! Just stop spawning. Just stop. Jesus Christ. Little girl! You're horrifying me with your cave. Your dank, moist cave. God, how long does this go for? Is that the return? It is. Oh no! Is that is that fat guy and and bigger fat guy? Is that what, what I'm seeing right now? I fucked myself already. Ethan, you have legs! Use them! Use your legs, Ethan! It's how you fucking move! Let me access my inventory. Do it. Did one of them die? I think one of them might have died. I just switched to the wrong ammo. You die? Correct. God damn. Oh my fucking god. The burner's useless! I don't have it! Okay, so I'm out of minor healing things. So I should only be healing myself when I'm in the red now. There's gonna be some hidden shit at the top of this. Nope. Sad. That was it. Three boxes. Oh. I don't know where the hell that came from. Unless I broke that without noticing. So now I can heal myself once when I'm not in the red. Okay. What are we looking at? Great. Outside, you say? Well, I know that I can't go back outside. That would be too easy.
There's another save point. Suspicious. Suspicious. There's an awful lot of pallets. They haven't done a jump scare with one of those yet. And they are overdue. A hundred and fifty. And another one of those. Oh my god, why? What's my health? Alright, use the use the little one. What was the point of that? Is that fucking it, it did it again why it gives me the map at the end at the end of the area like i can't go back ooh ooh hang on i'm going to save and then i will go back actually because i Ran past those two rooms without looking in them because I thought that there was going to be some awful boss battle in there and then there wasn't but now everything is dead behind me and I can definitely do that so fuck this game making me run all the way back down here now with super unathletic Ethan. Oh, I can't! No, you bitch! God damn it, whatever. <laughs> 